Education is really an amazing gift, a very important gift any parent can give to the child. And for a guardian, education is the best gift you can give to your world. We are here to talk education, which is the SDG goal number four. The need for all to be educated by the year 2030. How far have we gone with it? And what are we doing as a society to, to ensure that we all get that education? Quality education, not just any form of education. And we're here to talk about education. As I have with me, amazing, I'll call them amazing gentlemen because they're gentlemen. My name is Omar. You're very sweet at on radio, TV, and social media. Welcome to a special time on air. And I have with me to talk about Shanahan University. They are all from Shanahan University and we will x-ray. I mean, you could be hearing about Shanahan University for the very first time, or maybe you have been hearing about it before, but today they will tell you everything you need to know about Shanahan University. And uh, on my right hand side will be Reverend Father Dr. Pascal Ongwenu, Education Secretary on the Archdiocese. Father, welcome to the program. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, Reverend Father Basil, Dr. Basil Ekunife, Chairman, Shanahan University Project, member BOT. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And uh, are the, uh, definitely not the least. <laughs> 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 we have Reverend Father Dr. Alfred Okapo, who is a lecturer, Blessed Iwene Tansi, and lead Shanahan University Media Publicity. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start because you're here to talk to us about Shanghai University and all we need to know about Shanghai University, like I said while I was introducing, education is a gift. And I always say education is not a scam because the best gift any parent can give to any child is education and quality education. And everybody, every parent, I've come to realize that every parent looks out for quality education, no matter how poor they are. So let me start with you, uh, Reverend Father Dr. Pascal Longbun. Tell us, tell us a brief overview of Shanghai University. Thank you. Um, Shanghai University has been conceived for a long time to complement the efforts of the Archdiocese of Vanicha in the education apostolate. Okay. Because the Archbishop of Vanicha has seen that our people have been blessed with numerous skills mm. and they are doing all those things, manufacturing without the theory. You can imagine what they can do if they are allowed to know the principles of what they do and also to make sure that we have access to higher education that we need so much to advance the cause of Nigerians. Mm. All right, that's a really beautiful. So um, from all the indications, Shanahan University is yet to start, right? So let me come to you, uh, Reverend Father Dr. Alfredo Okapo. Okay. When are we expecting? Expecting that Shanahan University will kick start definitely this year. This year, when September, this October, September, October. October. Yeah, okay, uh, for the uh, next academic section, exactly. Okay, for someone that uh, wants to uh, be a student of Shanahan University, what are the requirements? Oh, presently, um, um, students are expected to take the jam examination, okay, so now they have to go to online, fill up the form. And then choose Shanahan University as one of their choices. Mm. And then they are ready to go once they have the required scores. Uh, someone is actually wondering, what could be the required score? Wow. You know, some might expect us to say, hey, 120. Mm. No way. Mm. So we expect students who get as much as 300. Oh, really? Oh, sure. You have to begin on a very high note. It's mm. not one of those places where you... If you know what's on ground already for this university, what is already planned and what we have on ground, okay. you know we want, actually what we want is quality, okay. not quantity. Okay. So we expect to begin on a very high note. You actually talked about what's on ground. Yeah. Let me come to him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just tell us right now, at the moment, what is on ground at Shanahan University? Good. Um, at Shanahan University, we have... Uh, so many facilities on ground. Okay. We have very functional library now. Okay. We have ICT, mm. over 100 computers. Okay. And then we have a um, computer laboratory. Okay. Computer laboratory, as you know, we have very high quality computers where they could be doing their experiments. Okay. And then we have entrepreneurship center as okay. well. 
in the entrepreneurship center we have tailoring for section oh yes we have bakery wow we have makeup amazing <laughs> and we have salon aha yes. so we got the vision of mm. the archbishop is to mold the human person okay yes so that at the end of the day after studying in the Shanghai University, you don't have any need seeking for job. Okay. You will be creating job yourself. Okay. You will be the employer of labor. Okay. You will be very comfortable with yourself and very confident with yourself. Okay. That having passed through the Shanghai University, either four or five years, depending on the uh, uh, the the number uh, the duration of the program, mm. you will be very very self reliant and be very very comfortable with yourself. Okay. So all the facilities you see on our flyers, all of them on ground. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me come back to uh, Father Pascal. Uh, which uh, faculties are available? Which uh, programs are available right now at Shanghai University? Thank you so much. Um, you know, before I answer the question, I want to add to what Father Basis said okay. yeah, about quality. Okay. Because the quality that we're talking about is not in the air. Like the computer um, laboratory mm. has been equipped with not less than I-5 core okay. and it has been powered with solar. It's 12 to 4 hour going mm. and because of that, students can have the experiments at night whenever they choose because it is on, available and they are ready to go. Okay. So that's the type of quality that we want to bring out. Okay. And the programs we have now because the emphasis is on quality. Mm. We don't want to begin with everything, mm -hmm. otherwise we may struggle or we may bring out half bent students. Mm. So we have three major faculties now. We have the Faculty of Natural and Applied Sciences. Okay. We have the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences. Mm. And then we have the Faculty of Basic, Medical and Allied Sciences. Mm. So the, under these, we have different departments. Okay. We have 20 courses for the start. Okay. And um, we are ready. Is it actually possible because someone who is listening right now will want to know the courses, specific courses available. Can you just reel out the specific courses available? Thank you so much. Um, under the Faculty of Natural and Applied Sciences, we have physics with electronics, mm. we have biochemistry, mm. microbiology, mm. computer science, mm. information and communication technology, mm. cyber security, mm. software engineering, mm. and information technology. Okay. Then under the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences, we have economics, mm. mass communication, mm. international relations, mm. entrepreneurship, mm. business administration, mm. accounting, mm. and taxation. Okay. And under the faculty of basic medical and allied sciences, we have nursing. Mm. We have the one they call medical rehabilitation, mm. which has now been changed to doctor of physiotherapy. Okay. We have environmental health, mm. radiology, and medical laboratory science. So these are the ones that we'll start with. Mm. But as we go on, we begin to introduce others like engineering, mm. like law, and then the full medicine and surgery. Okay. Yeah. You know, looking at the courses you've just reeled out right now, these courses are twin first, what I would call twin first century courses. Apart from the fact that uh, uh, there's a trend, even in education, things are changing. What were the things that really inspired the choice of starting up with these courses? Thank you so much. You know, the idea is that we don't have to have technology in the classroom. Mm. We want to have to use technology to drive learning. Okay. So what we are emphasizing on is what they can learn, use, and be productive. Okay. Okay. What they can learn, use, and be productive. In, in, the, in the 21st century. In the 21st century, century which is very extremely yes. important. Yes. Yes. And I wanted to come yes. to you. Yep. Because if we are talking about quality, mm -hmm. okay, we are looking at the lecturers. What kind of lecturers are we looking at that will bring out these quality graduates that we are looking at? Definitely we'll go for the best. And the Archbishop was already preparing for this. Now we have so many priests in practically every, uh, all, you know, everywhere in the world who are mm -hmm. already studying in preparation for these courses to take them on. So that once the university begins by September, October, you have this priest in the classroom ready to go. Okay. You know, I initially asked about, uh, for someone who would like to be a student of Shanahan University, yep. I need you to explain it more so that people will understand it better. Um, jump, uh, the form, they are picking the forms right now. Exactly. Okay. So, Shanahan University, is it listed? It is. 
it is listed. It is listed there. Okay, now. Yeah. As it is with uh, JAMP, at the end of the examination, there will be a cutoff mark. Yes. What is the is there a cutoff mark right now? Well, that, that that might be a little bit tricky. Father, mm -hmm. let me come. <laughs> <laughs> let me come, because sometimes, for example, there are some universities, federal universities, their cutoff mark could be one eighty. Even if JAMP says one hundred or or one twenty, some will say one eighty, two hundred for different departments. And to be honest with you, a parent who is listening to us right now wants to know, and these jam candidates, they always have it in their mind. All right. Mm -hmm. What am I going for? What, what score should I go for? So please, can you just give us an overview? Well, I'll begin with an advice. Okay. Don't begin to target what am I going for, what score. Try to make the best of the scores so that you'll be qualified <laughs> wherever you go. That is primary. <laughs> but okay. Because you cannot be saying, oh, I'm shooting for this, and... What if you don't get to that point? Okay. So the best thing is to shoot for the best. Okay. Now, um, it might be why I say it would be tricky to determine the cutoff now is that we have to allow the members of the faculty and all the rest to settle in okay. and they will decide. Okay. So very soon you have that out. So you're actually suggesting that someone should, I mean, head for 300. At least if you, if you get like 300, 350. That you qualifies are, you for, you are, for, for, for anything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the, okay. for uh, anything. actually uh. the, 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 the mark somebody gets depends on the traffic okay. of that particular course. Okay. Like um, recently or presently, people go more for nursing, mm -hmm. perhaps med lab, mm -hmm. and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. So you can't expect you will expect the cutoff mark for nursing to be higher mm. because there is more traffic there. Okay. Yeah, yes. you have more students. Yeah, you have more okay. students vying for okay. it. Yeah. Okay. For example, uh, in our College of Nursing presently, mm. every year we have more than 1,000 students. Yeah, sure. I'm aware uh -huh. of that. Very good. Mm. And uh, we take only 100 or a little, a little uh, more, more than 100. Mm. And so you will expect that the cutoff for that kind of exam will be definitely high. high. Mm. Uh, you don't compare it with another course mm. that has less traffic. Mm. For example, you have you are given 50, uh, maybe as the maximum number of students you are going to take, mm. and then the number of applicants maybe will be 60. Yeah. So in order to make up that particular quota given to you, mm. and you have less number of students, mm. definitely the cutoff mark will be low, mm. but not less than the require requirement of jump. Okay. Like in UC, mm. some courses. You don't go below 180. Exactly. Good. Uh -huh. And uh, because you don't go below 180, even if you don't get up to that particular number of quotas, then you have to go with the number of students you have, mm. especially those who are qualified. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But because mm. we, 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 go, we are going for quality in Shanghai University, mm. uh, we may place the cutoff mark in such a way that uh, there will, the, students, uh, the students of Shanghai we intend all of them will be very bright students. Okay. And so we may have to panel beat that 180 okay. to something a little higher. Aha, uh -huh, now we... You know what I was saying? You know, okay. okay. say. you know um, mm. the way I'm looking at it, it's mm. not just about the uh, cut off mark that we get. We believe mm. in the talents these our children have. Okay. Yeah. We have them in our secondary schools. Mm. Exactly. So we will not ask them to place a benchmark for themselves, mm. but to shoot for the best because we know we have high expectations of them. Mm. And we know they can make any cut off mark that they are required of. Mm. And all they need to do mm. is just to go out there, mm. get it, mm. and we're off. Okay, now I, I, I get it. Okay. Mm. But remember, there are late bloomers. Sure. There are early bloomers. Mm -hmm. There are students who in the university, I mean, in the secondary school, they are so intelligent. There are ones that are not so intelligent. So mm -hmm. if we are talking about quality, mm -hmm. what about those students? There could be a student who may be under circumstances because maybe he or she wasn't thinking well. They wrote jam and they scored 150 or they scored 130. That doesn't mean that they are not intelligent. Yeah. Definitely. So for such a student... Father, I'm coming to you. <laughs> For such a student who is not, I, I use the word wow, uh -huh. like the wow kind of intelligent, all right? Because you, you talked about brilliant, bright students, beautiful, amazing. For such a student as that, does that student have the opportunity 
to be at Shanahan University? You know, there are many ways of finding out the potentials of any, every student. Okay. Now, uh, normally, it will begin with the ones you can see. Okay. But there are other ways that they can show what they can do because okay. there are other minority uh, areas that you may consider as uh, the time goes on during the admission process okay. so that every other person will be res uh, you know, represented mm. in the community. Mm. So surely uh, jam score will be a, a good part of it. Okay. But also you don't forget that after the jam, mm. there is always a post UTME. Yeah. And when that comes, you have two opportunities to show what you can do. Okay. I guess that's fair enough for somebody okay. who is bright enough to show what he or she can do. Okay, that's to say that Shanahan University <laughs> opens the door for um, all manner of not really all manner opportunities. Yes, definitely. because I mean, why why do we go to school to learn, right? Sure. Okay. I love education, and just if I'm sleeping, wake me up and tell me to talk about education. I will flow like it runs in my bloodstream. And we've been talking about Shanahan University. I'm super excited because you know education brings there's this kind of flair that like there's this kind of thing education brings in a particular community. Just wait until Shanahan University comes into <coughs> Onicha. Onicha is going to wear a different look altogether. And I have with me Reverend Father Dr. Pascal Ongwen, who is the Education Secretary on the Archdiocese, and also Reverend Father Dr. Basile Punife, Chairman Shanahan University Project member, BOT, and Reverend Father Dr. Alfred Okapo, Lecturer, Blessed Iwene Tansi, <coughs> Lead Shanahan University Media Publicity. Um, let me come to our Father Alfred Okapo. As we've been talking, I can feel the pulse of the parents. Shanghai University, Shanghai University, what about the school fees? <laughs> because we all know it's a private university. Definitely. It's it a is. mission university. Mm -hmm. And we know how it is with mission and private privacy. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> What's the school fees like? Well, the school fees will be affordable. Okay. Definitely, it will, it will be. Uh, the church always thinks of the poor, so okay. we have the option for the poor always okay. at mind. So it will be affordable. Um, so we are looking at something at um, maybe from about three hundred and fifty per annum, not per semester. Oh, uh -huh. Per annum. That's the one. Okay. Per annum. But depending on the cost, one would like to okay. pursue. But okay. basically, from about three fifty per annum. Can parents pay installment in installment? That will be worked out. Okay. Definitely, yes. All right. All right. Yeah. So, so that I can feel the pulse right now. Hi, 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 hi. We understand okay. that. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. And when we are talking about education, we are talking about inclusion. Yes. Will Shanghai University be all inclusive? Let me come to you, Father Pascal. You know, we're in in this era. We are talking about uh, people with people living with disabilities. Are there structures to ensure that these ones are accommodated? Because they are human beings, right? So, what structures do you have at Shanghai University to ensure that it is all inclusive? Thank you so much. You know, I had a friend who told me there are no people with disabilities. Mm. We make them disabled. Oh, wow. But if we put in <laughs> place things that will enable them to function, they are not disabled. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what we have done at Shanghai University, as we have done in our secondary school, if you go to CKC right now, you have over 25 students who are in quote, disabled, okay. but they are there. Okay. If you go to St. Charles and QRC and, and St. John Salo, Regina they are Patches. there. Regina Patches, they are there. In fact, mm. at Regina Patches, they constructed yeah. a walking stick that is sensitive wow. already in 22nd century, not wow. even 21st wow. century. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So, amazing. And I was glad that it was Abogid himself, uh, yeah. Obi and Nemeka Achebe, who commissioned mm. that particular project. And mm. people were given uh, samples of that. Mm. So that tells you where we are. Okay. Now, we have ramps that will enable somebody on wheelchair to get into okay. the buildings. Okay. And also, at the permanent site, we have it in mind that the ramps uh, are accessible, mm. disabled accessible. Mm. And also, right now, we are putting in place something like a digital classroom. Oh, wow. Where you will have not just the audio, not just the video, but also some assistance, even translation, oh, if need be. Great. Because we intend to scout all over, all over the world mm. to get yeah. uh, professors okay. that will give us the best. Yeah. Those who can't speak English, we get translators. Oh, but all we know is we are settling for no second position. Amazing. <laughs> I love that. I love having this kind of conversation. It makes me very happy. Okay, so um, let me come to you, uh, Father, Reverend Father Dr. Basile Punife. 
Um, what about scholarship opportunities? Yes. Um, just like uh, Farah Fred uh, talked about, uh, option for the poor. Okay. Uh, the church is always um, take the lead for option for the poor. So there are definitely there is going definitely going to be scholarship. Okay. But uh, that particular scholarship is going to take a particular process. Okay. You take your jump, mm. pass with high marks, mm. and then you apply. That is how it is done internationally <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. You apply because some people may not even need the scholarship. Mm. That is the need for the application. Okay. Otherwise, you may tell the person, uh, you may show it under the person's truth that he must have the scholarship, and the person will tell you no. Okay. That, so the church had made it that after writing for your jump and you pass very well, then you have qualified already for the scholarship. Okay. Then you apply. Okay. During the application, there is a board that will look into that and look look at the merits. Of the applications mm. and then grant the 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 scholarship okay. accordingly. Okay. Now the scholarship is it going to be hundred mm. percent? No. Okay. Uh, but definitely it's going to be on tuition. Okay. Some percentage definitely is going to be given. Okay. Uh, duration of number of years depends on your consistency okay. in your academic work. Okay. If you are very excellent first year, excellent second year, excellent third year, that bishop wants to prom promote excellence. Okay. And so the person will definitely have that back, uh, that kind of help. All right. All yeah. right. Let me, I uh, see what's talking. What I may add, okay. Omar, what oh, yeah. I may add is, mm. sometimes when we talk about scholarship, people mm. think 20 people. Mm. As many as may qualify for that scholarship, we will give. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to ask a question right now, mm. which is a bit sensitive. Um, Shanahan University is owned by the Catholic Archdiocese of Onitsha. Yeah. What about people of other faiths? Somebody who is not a Catholic, someone who is not even a Christian, does the person have the opportunity to school at Shanahan University? Let me come to you, Father Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Omar. Um, I love the question because those who know how we operate, we know. Mm -hmm. that already that question is answered okay the criteria are there meet the criteria get admitted follow the rules okay wherever you are from in fact the more diverse we are the better Amazing. everybody is. the more diverse the better even mm. uh, in the youth village now mm. when the abishaw was building the youth village people were scared somehow mm that uh, perhaps that particular place will be turned either into seminary mm. or convent. Mm. Uh, but surprisingly, when you get to that place, you see people of other faiths. Okay. And they're allowed to worship their God the way they want. Amazing. Uh, even though the father there is a conservative, mm. but he doesn't carry that conservatism mm. to that extent. Mm. He allows that freedom mm. of worship, mm. that freedom of uh, 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 belief mm. and religion. Right. And so people are free. Okay. But not uh, freedom to uh, blow somebody's nose. <laughs> 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 All right, speaking about freedom, you know, it's a university and uh, young people, they love this. They love to be free. They yeah. love to have a social life. Yes. They love to have their gathering. They love, I mean, yeah. they love beautiful things. Yes. Let me come to you, Father. Yeah. What structures do you have in place to ensure that these young people that are coming to Shanghai University to study, that they have their social life, they have their social gathering? You, you, you said it's Shanahan University, yeah. right? Mm. And that's what it is. Okay. What you have in the universities, you have in Shanahan University, so they will be free. Okay. But remember, mm. the fact that I'm free to straight my hand does not mean I have to knock <laughs> off his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> So definitely they'll be free to express themselves, okay. but within reasonable limits, okay. not just the freedom of doing anything know, they want anything to do. They in want the to sense do. of going haywire. Haywire. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let me come to you, Father Pascal. Any, I mean, the Jabba syndrome. A lot of people want to travel out of this country for education. And here we are talking about Shanahan University to make them stay here, stay here. All right. Um, what assurance are you giving to parents that whatever it is they are going out there to look for is here? Thank you so much. You know, um, I'm privileged to have studied in three countries. Oh, wow. So I know what it is mm. to be out there on studies as a foreign student. Mm. 
you know, if you have a similar opportunity in your home country, you don't want to do that. Okay. Home is home. Mm. And when you get all the things you need and you are able to stay here, find the raw materials here, manufacture, and then those people will come here to negotiate with you. Mm. You have better negotiating power. Mm. So what we are trying to say here is, at Shanahan, we are not worried about people going out, but we want them to know that they have more than they can get when they go out. Mm. So why do they need to go out? Mm. We have to stay here and make the best of this place. Mm. And already, like Father said, that we have our spree studying in many countries. Okay. What we want to do is not to borrow from mm. any country. Mm. We want to take good things we find in all those and come here and develop our own that is unique and mm. the best. All right. So um, can we have, uh, for more inquiries, because I know people want to go ahead to check out Shanghai University. Uh, what's your website? Well, we can be seen at uh, www.suo.edu.ng. Okay. Also, we have uh, a number, a numbers that for inquiries, can be shown. Um, you have 081-348-0008. The second one, you have 090-772-288-77. And the third one, 090-751-121-11. We can also be, uh, well, email is info at suo.edu.ng. We are also are uh, on TikTok, Facebook, and um, Twitter, um, Instagram, I mean Twitter called X, all of them at Shanahan University. Amazing. You came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> you came prepared. Okay, let me just throw this question to Father Okapo, please. Yeah. Um, Randy Lecturers. I mean, we have it all over Nigerian universities. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, Shanahan University is in Nigeria. Definitely. So, what are you doing to ensure that the lecturers uh, that uh, will help us bring out these quality graduates we are looking out for are not randy lecturers? Well, I would like to begin uh, talking about this from the background of our secondary schools already. Okay. You know the way the secondary schools are presently, and you see how disciplined the, the teachers and everybody. So we want to replicate that on a very higher level now in the university. Okay. Definitely there will be no room and no place for such people. Okay. So uh, the recruitment of those to teach will be something done with a lot of care. Okay. Yeah, so we don't think we'll have a place for such. So parents method. shouldn't worry about They shouldn't it. worry about that. Okay. And again, mm. uh, when we were overseas, <coughs> at the beginning of every, at the end of every academic, uh, uh, every semester, mm. The, there is assessment okay. of like every students. lecturer. Okay. So the university authority prepares a form that will be given to every student to assess all their lecturers. Oh. Sure. And so China University has already prepared that kind of form mm. so that there is no hiding place for any lecturer. Mm. If you come to the class that you're supposed to last for 45 minutes, mm and you use 30 minutes to tell stories, mm. then students will actually indicate that <laughs> during that particular form. If you try to ask for maybe a, a tip mm. for you to do one thing or the other, mm. at the end of the day, it will reflect in your report. Okay. And when we get that, definitely you'll be called to the office and you'll be questioned. Okay. Then the, uh, the, the, the consequence of that particular question and the outcome it depends on the on the volume of, of your, that particular event. All right. All so right. you know, you know Omar, yeah. what I would add is, um, mm. unless it is Sunday, there is no room to be randy. Okay. Mm. And that means that there is an undercurrent morals and ethos okay. that the university is built upon. Okay. Mm. There are things you know that are forbidden. You can't even talk about them. Okay. And even talking about this cultism and all of that, we have track record for that. What mm. people have not seen. Mm. Uh, the quality things going on behind okay. our efforts. In the secondary schools, for example, about 10 years ago, people were no more worried about their kids in secondary school being members of the court, but the ones at the primary level. But since the missions took over back their schools, mm. it's not been announced, but everybody has witnessed a drastic reduction. Yeah. Mm. In fact, a minimalist level mm. of in-school 
cult Cultism. activities. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, beautiful. Can, can I, I mean, just say this go one? Go on, go on. Yeah. You know, from what Father Pascal said mm -hmm. uh, and what Father Basil said, mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to take us back to the question you asked. Mm -hmm. uh, you see now, you talked about Jabba syndrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you see now, Father Basil talked of what we experienced when we studied out there, mm -hmm. where the students have to, you know, assess, assess their. Um, they are lecturers, yeah, lecturers, and Father, Bas uh, Father Pasco just talked about um, what is already going on behind the scene. Mm. So you see, that solves the problem of Jabba. Okay. What they go there to look for, we are is about to bring home. home. Mm -hmm. Okay. To them. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, finally, I'd like to ask about strike. Uh -huh. Although not finally, because I have another <laughs> question that, that came to my head right now. <laughs> uh, fa Father, okay, we well, are going to talk to us about strike. Then, Father, you're going to talk to us about whether students are allowed to have student union government. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, students want to know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Father. Well, the question of strike is already out of the, place, out of the window. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if it's a four years course, it's four years. No obstruction whatsoever. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay, all no. right. So, Father. Thank you. I can only add to what our father Alfred said. You don't strike out, you're striking. <laughs> okay. Because actually what we are looking for is the person that will produce the most productive students. Okay. So you don't have even time to think about missing. Okay. You, you are looking for some time to add so okay. that you produce the best because okay. they are the, thing, the people that will testify okay. to your quality as okay. a teacher. Now about um, SUG. SUG. Mm. You see, people misconstrue SUG as activism. Mm. No, they are where students come together to express themselves and how the university community is treating them, the climate in mm -hmm. the community. Mm. If you miss it, you miss an entire Definitely. source of knowledge. Yeah. So we are not even talking about whether it will be there. Mm. We are talking about how strong we have to make them to be okay. in order to help the university community. Okay. All right. Okay. You are talking of a university, but I teach in the seminary. And okay. in the seminary, we have the SUG. Can you believe Amazing. that? Amazing. Oh, I love go. that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I'm just going to go, I, because I think uh, uh, my producers are telling me that we've really taken a lot of time. So let me just go one after the other. Hmm? Let me come to you. Let me start with you. All right. Father, why should a parent choose Shanahan University over all other universities in the world. Oh, okay, let's, uh, it means I have to just to go back to what we just said. Let me begin with this. If it's a four years course. Something you've not said before. <laughs> <laughs> well, we. The intend, on the cake. Yes, we intend to have an institution where you have, where you train children to be God fearing, okay. where you train children to be innovative, mm. where you train children to be creative confident in themselves and then go into production. Okay. So All right. with that, you find that Shanahan University is the best place to be. Mm. Mm. All right. Father. I will only add, you know, as we are a team, so we pass the ball to each other. <laughs> 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 so um, mm -hmm. if you look at the back of our flyer, mm. like Father mentioned before, mm. all the things, all the pictures you see there are on ground. Okay. Mm. They are not photoshopped or pulled from the computer. That means Yes. It's not about people talking about application, practice. Uh, mm. We want to move you right there mm. from theory mm. to practice. Mm. And then what will stop you from mm. succeeding mm. in life? Mm. 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 Okay. Father. Well, uh, they have actually uh, mentioned everything. But um, what I have to add is that, uh, you know, whenever anybody comes out and tells you, I'm a graduate of Harvard University. Oh, my goodness. How do you feel? Wow. We want to replicate. <laughs> we really want to replicate Harvard in our society. Uh, really? Yes. Look at our secondary schools. Mm. Just like my, my brothers mentioned earlier. Before now, uh, you don't think of sending your, your child to a secondary school anyhow. People, especially if you can pay, you go to Jesus and you pay millions. But immediately the church took over courtesy of uh, uh, Governor Peter be when he handed over the, the school back to the church, you see the results. Mm, mm. Everybody now wants his child to go to the uh, 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 church, uh, our secondary schools. Yeah. That is exactly what we want to replicate, mm. to bring Oxford here in Nigeria, to bring replicate Harvard here in Nigeria, so that when any, uh, whenever anybody asks you, you'll be very proud to say, I'm a student mm. of Shanghai University mm, mm. because of the certain things that are being done there mm. in a very unique mm. and distinct manner. Mm. That is it. 
Do you know something just popped in my head right now? <laughs> I, I know just to mm. add to what Father Basis said. Mm. Um, uh, in February last year, mm. I was in Thailand, okay. and we uh, were sent to negotiate with the top university in Thailand, Assumption University. Mm. We already have our first meeting, mm. and the second meeting is scheduled as soon as Shanahan comes on stream. Okay. We have an expanded meeting, okay. and we are talking about exchange already. Mm -hmm. Not How do you know that's what I wanted to ask? Because <laughs> I'm a prophet. Oh my goodness! <laughs> And not just that, we have just signed in December, we signed an MOU, okay. University of Pesh, Hungary. Oh. And yeah. the MOU is already signed and we are waiting to implement. Yeah. And we already, by last summer, we got in touch with Oxford okay. uh, through the Royal Oxford um, uh, Exchange. Mm. We sent some of our secondary school students there and they mm. came back. They were so impressed. I saw their and we are, Oh, thank God. And we're already <laughs> talking of taking it to the next level to have that relationship with the university. Okay. And we are not stopping. Amazing. Mind you, he's an alumnus of St. John's University in ah, New York. Great. And we are already looking towards that direction as well. I yeah. love that. I feel like I should... Go no, no, I'm not going back to <laughs> 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 Okay. Now, um, I want to... Be, as we wrap it up, security you know that's uh, one area a lot of parents will be concerned about the security of their children at Shanghai University what assurance are you giving to parents that when they bring their uh, as a matter of fact I mean uh, uh, the Reverend Father doctors in the studio with me they've said something which I really need to talk about at least I've actually taught some of the um, Catholic owned mission schools and I must say, I am wild. Mm. Yes, I'm wild. So what they are saying is not, there's what we call it, no capping. Like that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the Gen Z language, no, mm. as in no caps, <laughs> like no capping, mm. no capping. But the parents will want to know about security. How secured are their children at Chennai? We University? have created opinion boxes. Okay. And those opinion boxes have monitors. Those who see to the content of that particular opinion box day to day. So that if you get any particular report, so the student doesn't even need to go and support him or herself looking for the vice chancellor or looking for the registrar or, or the management. The person will simply go to that particular opinion box and register his or her complaints. Mm. And within 24 hours, that particular thing should be attended to. Mm. Oh, yes. All right. Finally, if, okay. let me just add to that. Um, when you talk about security, and it means, uh, it, I think it also borders around having uh, provisions where the students can leave. Yeah, sure. Yes. The hostels, yes. how secure the um, hostels are. They'll be free to find accommodation, but we have accommodation, okay. though it might not take everybody at the mm. same time, but okay. already we have accommodation set. Okay. And we promise to provide security. Okay. For, for people that just tuned in right now, they want to know. Uh, the courses, the degree programs available at Shanahan University. Father, please, can you help us with that? Yes, uh, like I said, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three faculties. Mm -hmm. The Faculty of Natural and Applied Sciences, mm -hmm. which has physics with electronics, mm -hmm. biochemistry, microbiology, mm -hmm. computer science, information and communication technology, mm -hmm. cybersecurity, mm -hmm. software engineering, mm -hmm. and information technology. Mm -hmm. We have the second faculty of social and management sciences, mm. which um, has economics, mm. mass communication, mm. international relations, mm. entrepreneurship, mm. business administration, mm. accounting, mm. and taxation. Mm. Then we have the faculty of basic medical and allied sciences. Mm. We have nursing. Mm. We have doctor of physiotherapy, okay. which people call medical, medical uh, rehabilitation, rehabilitation. Mm. environmental health. Mm. Radiology and medical laboratory science. Mm. These are the startup courses that we have. Okay, for more inquiries, uh, what's your website? Can you say it again? Uh, you can uh, reach us at www.suo.edu.ng. Mm. You can also reach us at the social media handles at uh, the Instagram, TikTok. Facebook or at Shanahan University. Okay. We have also our email address at info at suo.edu.ng. You can also reach us at um, numbers 081-4348-000 and 30. You have 090-772-2000. Mm. 
0988-788-77 and then 090-751-12111. Okay, I'm actually looking at um, the motto. That was the first thing I saw when you gave me the flyer. And I've tried to read it a couple of times. Please. Father, can you help me with that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after the program, you pay me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the motto uh, uh, of Shanahan University is Ut Vitan Habeant, which means that they may have life. Yeah. And this is actually what we stand for, altruism. Thinking about the welfare of other people, giving them opportunities to excel, mm. providing access to everybody mm. to be the best they can be. Mm. Of course, you can understand. The education, the quality that we are experiencing today, we are planted by people from over, over European countries mm. who never knew us mm. and we never knew them, mm. but they came and put on the structure that, and today we are products of those structures and we are living a better life. Okay. And so it is our, it's onus on us, obligation, mm. to provide the structure for children of 10 years in the next 20, next 30, to stand and stand so tall because they've been given things for which they can excel in life. All right. I think we've said it all. <laughs> I think we've actually said it all. Only for one, I'm just going to require just in 30 seconds. You're just going to talk to students because we've been talking to um, parents. <laughs> now, can you talk to a student why, I'll start with you, yep. Father. You talk to a student why he or she should choose Shanahan University. Oh, my, <coughs> my dear brothers and sisters, um, you want to be the best you can in the 21st century. And uh, Shanahan University provides you with the opportunity to grow up as a God-fearing individual, a citizen of this country, Nigeria. Uh, we know you are very innovative, so you have the opportunity to really be innovative, be creative, be confident in yourself, and then go into production. So there wouldn't be any need to really run out of this country if we come to Shanahan University and become the best we can be in the 21st century. Thank you. Father Pascal? Thank you, uh, my dear younger ones. You want a place where somebody believes in you, where the expectations are high. You don't want a place where people are imposing on you, but where they are proposing and convincing you on why you have to make the right choices and give you the metrics to make the right choices. You want a place where you discover your very self and be the best you can be. And that's Shanahan. Okay. For the very good, my dear young ones. Shanahan Universal wants to make you very holistic individual so that you come out from the university lacking nothing you will be you will be a very complete personality and then very self-reliant that's the aim of shanghai university thank you thank you so much thank you i had <laughs> so much fun yeah having this conversation with all of you and uh, we look forward to uh, an amazing outing at Shanahan University, just like you've all said. Uh, if you just join us right now, or you've been with us, uh, I've been with Reverend Father Dr. Pascal Ombuenu, who is the Education Secretary of Onitsha Archdiocese, Reverend Father Dr. Basile Kunife, who is the Chairman Shanahan University Project Member BOT, and also Reverend Father Dr. Alfredo Kapo, who is a lecturer, Blessed Iwenetansi, and lead Shanghai University Media Publicity. They have said basically everything you need to know about Shanghai University. They need for you to make it your choice where you will receive holistic education and formation, which is really what you need for this 21st century. Like I said, I will always say education is the best gift as a parent you can give to yourself, you can give to your child as a guardian, you should give to your word, and as a child. As a teenager, as a person, as an individual, education is the best gift you can receive. Take it with you. Run with it. Education can never be a scam. If you think education is a scam, think about year 2020. Remember what happened in that year and you'll know that when you're educated, you have the best. You are armed with a tool that will help you for the future. My name is Oma. You're very sweet at on radio, TV and social media. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I wish you... The very best. Thank you. Thank <laughs> and you. I will visit Shanghai University. And when I visit it, I will talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>